Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do uh, a reading for you. What we're gonna do is go through how you feel about the person that you're coming to the reading for and then how they feel about you. We're gonna get some advice for you and then an outcome. So let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. How does Leo feel about their person? Leo, keep in mind that all links are below if you need to get in contact with me, if you wanna Go to the website and book your own reading there. Take advantage. All right, let's see. How does Leo feel about the person that they're coming to the reading for? The Page of Wands. Do so you feel like um, this person is a... Uh, whomever this is, you feel like uh, I don't know, they're acting immaturely or they're exploring somewhere else. I always get cheating with this card. Cheat, 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 cheater. Like, you know, like... um. um they're doing what they want to do. They're living life how they want to live. They, you know, they're making the rules as they go. Yeah. With the high priestess, you feel like there is um, something secretive about this person. Could be Cancer, Pisces, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So you feel like they're keeping their plans, you know, for, you know, the next phase of this relationship to themselves. You feel like they're planning secretly. You feel like they're doing something behind your back. Um, you feel like they're making solo plans, of course, that don't don't include you. You feel like maybe they have another person. Uh, this is how you feel, uh, Leo. They have a secret woman uh, or a man or somebody is just staying in their place, though. They're not making a lot of uh, noise. Uh, they're not, you know, maybe they know about you, especially if you are the main person and then there's a side person or if you're the side person, this is you. Um... It's like how you feel about this person is um, you know that they're up to something. You just can't prove it. So you're waiting. Again, um, lots of uh, secretive energies. You feel like this person is being elusive. Like they answer questions with questions. You feel like there's something behind their eyes, the gaze that they give you. You feel like it's something behind maybe them not open it opening up to you emotionally let's see how your person feels about you how does this person feel the eight of wands so they feel like um you're obsessed infatuated you you're all over them you um you always want to talk want to talk about the intentions of the relationship you want to push things forward you want to move forward you want things to work you want things to work out well between the two of you the eight of wands, it's like, um, maybe you always want to have sex or, or this is how you engage or this is how you show your love or, um, they feel like you have a, um, a big online presence also. And maybe you are engaging, talking to other people. They feel like, um, you know, you just want to remove the blockages and the obstacles in this relationship by having clear communication stating your intentions and you hope that they state theirs how they feel about you is the three of wands like yeah they feel like you just want to move things forward you want things to expand progress like they feel like you're taking the lead on this you know like you're just going to make it work you're going to make it happen for the two of you this is how they feel It's like you, you, they feel like you're showing other, you show them, you're going to show them the way. Again, you're taking the lead. This is how they feel. Or they're letting you do all the work in this relationship. By keeping it alive, by keeping it going, you're the motivation behind it. You have to nurture the connection. You have to put in the energy, the effort, the time. It's something about the the feminine, like they're, they're letting you, they're the giver and then you're the receiver. I don't know what that's about. All right, so um, let's see. What is the advice, the advice for Leo, the magician? All right, yeah, so in order for to make this thing real, to make this relationship real, um, Play your cards right. Use your words wisely. Be resourceful. Manifest. Meditate. 
take it's like you have to take matters in your own hand take the power in your own hands especially with the three of wands and the magician here it's like this person is putting all of the the motivation the forward movement the expansion on you they're not doing anything to to move it the relationship forward like moving in together and having a baby buying a dog getting engaged buying a house they're not moving the relationship forward what is the outcome if leo takes the advice the eight of cups oh somebody's gonna emotionally you need to stop giving you may see that you know you just need to stop giving you need to check out you're going to analyze yourself yeah eight of pentacles you will see that this is a cycle and that somebody is unchanging or unwilling to change with the emperor here um, that you'll just be spinning your wheels. It's funny that the eight has two circles. That's how you you make an eight. That's how you draw an eight. So it's like you're spinning the wheels. You'll you'll continuously be spinning the wheels and always rebuilding, recreating, always doing the work here of keeping the relationship together and keeping it solid. You'll always be in the creation phase too, never getting to stability. It's so like you'll always just be you know, we're just boyfriend, girl, but we just keep waking up. We just keep hanging out. We just keep taking trips. We just keep having sex. Okay, where's your ring? Winners have rings. You know, where where is where is the indication that um there's progression here? Even if it's that even if you don't want to get married. You know, where where is the, the, you know, the stability in a relationship or, you know, is it that this connection could fall apart at any given time? I don't know. Um, you'll always be trying hard to um, maintain this relationship and it'll be, it'll feel like you're just going in circles. It's a cyclical relationship. The Eight of Pentacles. Um, over and over again like you, you know just over and over again yep you'll be thinking about this person over and over again they'll always have you up in there in up in your head yeah you need to exercise a new plan here a new program but you need to have the courage to do so get some rest and stop thinking about this and go through the grieving process before you actually have to go through the grieving process learn about what that's about uh sometimes people are scared to make change that they don't have the courage to make change because they don't want to hurt. They don't want to feel the hurt. They don't want to feel the pain. Sometimes you have to do it. You know, you just have to go through it. That's, you know, the only way through is through, right? So this is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 8.30 p.m. Standard tonight, Sunday, where you can come for the collective reading. Ask a question or two. Thank you, Leo. Many blessings to you. Take care.